Oh, hi there, Team Ozone. So I have no idea what the heck we're doing this episode, but I do know one thing. I'm a total loser and I can't resist. I have to go show Cynthia the red chain because it's so cool. I have to go show her the red chain. No, no, no. Resist. Resist, Ray. Go to Lavender Town, the most depressing place ever. Yes, my mind, I shall listen to you and go see Cynthia, the most least depressing person ever. Yes, Ray, good j wait, what? Yeah. Friggin' prick. Okay, so we're gonna go see Cynthia, because I want to show her the red chain. Also, last time we defeated Misty, the water-type gym leader of Cerulean. I always think Chuck is the water-type gym leader or something like that, but he's not. He's, he's the fighting type who just... Likes being around water a lot. That's... This is me. It doesn't... I don't... Oh, hey, I got a question, but I can't ask you guys it. I gotta go ask Dre it, because... Okay, let's say, hypothetically, I leave Pokemon at the uh, Pokemon daycare here, and they level up. Will they learn the natural moves programmed into the game, or, or like... Or will they learn moves that Dre has programmed into the game, because, you know... He programmed stuff in the game. Anyways, let's just talk to Cynthia. Oh, is this what, is this what they is this what they call the red chain? This chain may lead to somewhere very special. Yes, I believe it will re lead us to the Sinjo ruins. Talk to me again if you want to take a look. Talks to again. Sinjo ruins. Do I want to go to the ruins now? Let me think. 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 I should probably save before going there. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go save and see what's over there. If I, if I see something that's, like, way too powerful, I should probably just get out of there. But, yeah, let's just go to the ruins now. Friggin' why not? Yes, ma'am, I would like to go there. Did she magically teleport us here? Oh my gosh, this place sounds like Sinnoh. I fucking love Sinnoh. Ooh, statues! What do they look like? They look like, um, Loudrids? I can't get a really good close-up. Give me a minute. Holy crap! It's the ones who were made from the... Oh my gosh! Do I capture them? The center of the stage regulates the events of the mystery circle stage. Yeah, there's the red thing. It detects that there are still Pokemon on the stage. I have to capture these three awesome things. Yes! Oh man, am I gonna have fun with this? Let's go, Yuxi! All right, so first off, we're going to paralyze Yuxi because Yuxi is very, very, very bulky. Going to switch on over to somebody else like Nell who can just take a bunch of hits, especially special hits. And we're going to go for Shadow Ball because it's somewhat effective, but it's not going to... Go, oh, God! I hate myself so much! Go back in time! Uh -huh. How can I do that? I friggin' hate when that happens. God damn itself. We got to speed up. Got to go to Shinjo Union. Shinjo... I can't say Sinjo, I can say Shinjo, because it's like Shino, but it's Sin, it's Sino, not Shin, oh, friggin' come on, what do they look like, okay, hold on, I'm just effing around here, I'm gonna save right here, but then I wanna see what the game does, <laughs> when everything is all effed up, okay, so the legendary Pokemon of willpower, emotion, and knowledge, a sprite of gold, a giant shit stain, and some ladders. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. This is. <laughs> that is. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Did it just change to gold on fire? Let's try that again. There's a happy face in there. One of them's missing. There was a happy face. Somewhere in here, there was a happy face. Okay, I gotta stop effing around, really. I'm supposed to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It doesn't detect that there's a freaking problem with. Okay, yeah, I look. There's a. 
It's Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. Look at that. If you just... When I'm going down, you can see... Oh my god. It's Mr. Popo. Freaking Mr. Popo right there. <laughs> Look at that. You can see his eyes. Hold on. Now, right there, right there, right there. Okay, you've seen enough of Mr. Popo. Let's just restart. God damn. The game really is getting glitchier and glitchier the more I go through it. But anyways, we're going to capture Yuxi. Not going to kill it this time, though. So here we go. Battle against Yuxi, the knowledge Pokemon. It's supposed to be incredibly bulky, but apparently it's not so bulky. So we got to be kind of careful as to not have it go faint or anything. Going for that amnesia, and now we spam the balls of Poka. It's not very fast, so I guess we're just going to spam Pokeballs till we capture it. This could take a while, so I don't even know what to do, because I really don't know what to do. Yuxi is an awesome Pokemon. I used to run it in my personal competitive team. I say personal because uh, if you're a YouTuber, there's a difference between your competitive team and your personal competitive team. Personal is just things you never really share with the world, because it's like, you know, meh. Or you're lazy or something like I've had personal playthroughs of games. That's not on YouTube because it's obviously I was too lazy to record a personal playthrough. But still, it feels and then and you can take it anywhere with you. It's in your pocket. It's not like a LPing thing which your team is on your computer or whatever. You can't take it with you. I should probably try waking up now at some point now. <laughs> Come on now, wake up. Come on, girl. Come on now, wake up. There you go. It didn't do much damage, but that's still better than nothing. Not doing any damage, actually. But it's better than... Okay, I'm gonna go for Kamon, because that future side's gonna hit me rather soon. It did hit me, didn't do that much. Now I'm gonna go for more Pokeballs. Oh, come on, Yuxi, just stay in the Pokeball, and we get to have cake, be friends, eat cake, eat carrots, eat healthy, knowledge, 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 knowledge. Damn it! I thought if I said something it was, like, you know, relatable to, it would stay with me. I totally forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Well, they're at level 50, so I think it's fine if I capture them now. Because instead of going to boring old Lavender Town, I'm capturing Yuxi, Me Spirit, and- OH MY GOSH! No, no. Yes! I don't know, I was tempted to think that... Uh... Okay, hold on, I got an idea. If this one fails... Then I'm going to have it so my save is up for grabs, and then you guys can totally just, you know, use my save. But if it doesn't fail, then that's going to suck. Because then I'm going to have to capture them again. Or something, I don't know. That would be really cool, though, if you guys got the chance to do this awesome thing that I'm getting to do. So, meh. Come on, Yuxi, kill your... Oh, frig, I'll do it myself. Dar Yuxi! Oh, wow. Da Yuxi! Damn it! Da Yuxi! Ha ha! Okay, so hold on, I'm just gonna restart right here. Now, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna have my save from this point. Because all we're doing in this episode is capturing Yuxi, Me Spirit, and Azelf. So I figure instead of giving you a file where I've already captured them, the point of Pokemon games is to capture Pokemon and have fun. Also, you guys might get different natures than me, so if you guys need a Yuxi, Me Spirit, or an Azelf, and you guys know how to get them from this game to a different game and other stuff like that, or you just need, you know, a Yuxi, Me Spirit, and Azelf, you got, you got them. Just keep going and keep trying to get that good nature. So anyways, let's just go over here, and wow, I've wasted so much time, but I haven't captured them, so I'm gonna save right here. Save my file, 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 saving my file. Ooh, there's a breeze in here, and that's not good because I have short time. Alright, now that I've saved, give me a minute so I can just export my save file, and then I'll have it up. And then when you guys are watching this, you can download my save and play this exact episode with me. Just I won't be here unless you're watching the video, in which case, hi, future self! Wait, no. No, I'm not. No, no, no to you. No to me, because I'm not saying hi to the future self, me. I'm saying hi to you in the future, because I'm recording this on Saturday, the 5th of January. So you guys should be getting this Friday, the 9th of January. So, hi guys, how was your week? Just, how was your week? Anyways, now give me a minute to uh, export my save. Alright, with that out of the way, I find it funny that I have the save for uh, the file up. 
I mean, for this episode, before I even have in the game. Really? Yuxi's gonna be so difficult to capture. Huh. Okay, but whatever. We're gonna do it anyways. I like the music here, so give me, like, give me th just a few seconds of this music. For my ears. God, I love this music. Okay, so here we go. Yuxi, I'm gonna capture you and you're gonna be mine. There's no doubt about it. In this episode, right now, as of now, at this very moment in time. So it's paralyzed, we're gonna go for Thunderbolt. That'll probably do a good chunk of damage. I could go for another Thunderbolt, it probably won't kill it. Ah, good, good, good. Now we're gonna go for a fastball because apparently Yuxi is apparently a fastball one. It's not actually that fast. Now we're gonna go for a Ultra Ball because I wanna waste my Ultra Ball and you can see that was a bad idea. That did not work. Now we're gonna go for a Pokeball because Pokeball spam is the best way to spam. Basically spamming Pokeballs till they capture the darn thing. So I guess I'll skip ahead till I capture it because this goes, ah, just on and on and on. Okay, so I accidentally beat Yuxi down a little too much, so we're gonna just skip to the part where it shows me after I've captured all of them and read their entries and stuff. Which could be a while, so I will see you people in a few moments. In the meantime, feel free to download the save, play the game, capture them, then come back and just, you know, see what happens. That'd be awesome. We're playing together. You, I, we're playing video games together. Through time even! What time travelers? Well, technically, it sort of isn't time travel, but we're playing video games at two different periods of time, but we're doing it together. It's like, it's awesome. It's like, I just sent a message through a bottle, through time, and you guys are getting it. And it's still like, I don't know, that just, that's awesome. So anyways, see you guys in a few moments when I'm reading their Pokedex entries, which will be like five hours, because capturing these guys is really hard, apparently. I... Used to be really good at capturing Pokemon, now I just suck at it, I don't know why, that's sad. Okay, so I just captured Yuxi, which is really weird, because I just used a Hyper Potion, then I went for a Pokeball, which is whatever, okay. So now we're going to read his Pokedex, and then go on over to Azelf, and then Misprit. 480 in the National Dex, Yuxi, Knowledge Pokemon, Psychic Type, 1 foot nothing, 0.7 pounds. According to some sources, this Pokemon provided people with intelligence necessary to solve various problems. Also, it's got a tiny little adorable footprint. I will not change its name because Yuxi is a good name in itself. And now we go capture Aza. I should probably save here. This is a good, it's a really good thing that I put up the save beforehand so you can capture all of them yourself. I, I guess, you know, if you don't want to capture all of them yourself, but uh, that's a thing. I, I thought it'd be cool if you could capture them all yourself. Uh, I could put up both saves. But you get the next save anyways next week anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And now we're going to go battle and capture Azelf, the attack. I think it's the willpower. You might want to check. Ah, we're up. We're fine. Also, it's very fragile, so be careful. Alright, guys. So we just captured Azelf, and I feel freaking terrible about it, because all I did was... Hold on, wait. Is this thing moving? This thing's moving a little bit, but whatever. I feel kind of terrible about it, because... Basically, here's how it went. I used Thunder Wave, went to Nell, spammed Calm Mind until I had the maximum amount of defense because I know for a fact this thing's got Nasty Plot, having gotten my ass kicked by it once already. And then I just spent Pokeballs while on my phone, messing around, tweeting, whatever, just not paying it any attention. So I have no idea how many balls I just spent at it, but eh, it worked. It was better than just staring at the screen and not doing anything. Anyways... 482 in the National Dex, Azelf, Willpower Pokemon, Psychic Type, a it's got the same attributes as its brethren or sisterin or whatever gender in they are. This Pokemon is said to have endowed humans with the determination needed to face any of life's difficulties. The Willpower Pokemon, definitely one of the awesomest Pokemon ever because Willpower is awesome! Yeah! Manliness! And now I'm gonna save here before we capture... Misprit. Also, um, I had to pause. <laughs> Weirdest thing. <laughs> I had to pause the video for a minute because uh, my sister was trying to lock pick my door. Because apparently when I'm being quiet capturing a Pokemon or on my phone, she thinks I'm asleep and apparently she needs to tell me when she has to go eat food. I, I don't know. She just woke up and she's like super groggy, bed hair and everything. She's just like, I'm hungry. 
and then I'm like, okay, so wait, you were trying to lockpick my door because you're hungry. Unless you're a cannibal, that does not seem right. And even if you are a cannibal, that's that's even worse. So yeah, that was that was really awkward. Not sure what is going on with that. Like, not even. Like, I wish I was making this up because this is just stupid weird. Like, this, sometimes I have stories that are funny weird that are just awesome, but this is just stupid weird. Like, wh what? What's going on here? Anyways, on to the final of the trio, Miss Brit. Also, I love the music here. So, unlike Yuxi, which is the most defensive of the trio, or Azelf, which is the most highly offensive, like, not just offensive as in vulgar, because it's not that. I mean, offensive in terms of stats, and it'll just kill you. Me Spirit is the balanced one, meaning it can take a hit, give a hit. Heck, it'll probably just be awesome all around. And usually you have to chase it all over a region to capture it, so be very grateful that you actually just get to battle it head-to-head -head in this battle. Anyways, without further ado, we're gonna speed this up to the part where I capture it, because uh, this will probably take frigging forever. And we finally capture Meesprit. I just took a picture of it and I was about to tweet it, you know, spoilers and everything. I was like, oh, it's that kind of day. And it showed, like, Jaws and it's, like, difficult to capture Meesprit because Jaws is nearly dead. But whatever, I guess no spoilers for you folks until you see this episode. Anyways, 481 in the National Dex, Emotion Pokemon. I knew I got it right. Same specs as the other ones. Ones as in little pixie things. I'm not entirely sure what they are. They're nice, I guess. This Pokemon is said to have endowed humans, uh, endowed the human heart with emotions such as sorrow and joy. Me Spirit, props to you and Azelf. Knowledge, uh, I don't really have a lot of that, so I'm sorry, you see. <laughs> uh, no, Me Spirit's a nice name. I will keep it like that. And now we shall save the game before anything terribly glitchy happens. And actually, we're going to do what happens next time. Next time. Please do not spoil it for me in the comments as to what happens when I capture all three of them and go step on the center thing. Seriously, don't do it. And if you see somebody do it, flag all the comments who spoil what happens. Like, seriously, flag the comments. I don't care if it's me. Do it anyways. If you see a comment that spoils what happens, flag it! Because I don't want to see what happens. I honestly have no idea what happens. I know I'm supposed to capture these three. I know I'm supposed to capture, like, every legendary ever. But I don't know, like, the specific events for it. Or the details. Or anything like that. So just let my mind speculate, roam, and just have fun and be surprised and awesome on Monday. So please don't spoil for me. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to be less fun for you guys to watch and, f and less fun for me to play. So, yeah. I mean, if you're a total dick and want to get your comment flagged so I don't read it, good job. You got that. If you're awesome and you don't want to do that, yay! So, question of the day is, which is your favorite of the... Misprit trio? I'm going to say it's the Misprit trio because Misprit is the leader. Yeah, that sounds about right. So anyways, that about wraps it up for today. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Bye!